Well, we're in uh, western Massachusetts. It's uh, muzzleloader season. We're just trying to uh, cut a track on the roads before we go walking in. It's a big oak ridge, south facing side hills, and the deer are starting to uh, congregate in there. It's post rut. All we got to do is find a big buck track. So uh, we're going to check the roads, then we're going to head on in and see if we can cut a track on foot. Well, it's about nine degrees this morning. Pretty good wind, but we got some good powdery snow. So what we're doing is we're trying to get up on this ridge. I was hunting in here last week and there was a good buck in here. You can see where he put his head down to eat some acorns and his antlers were hitting the snow. So we're gonna get onto the top of this finger, walk up onto this mountain about a mile, mile and a half. We should get into the deer on these south facing slopes. They're all oak and uh, just gonna try to cut a big fresh buck track, you know? So, putting on the miles, if we can find one, we got good conditions. So, we're gonna keep walking, see what happens. deer both look about the same age these deer are going to start getting into wintering mode now it's getting to be late December I'm going to follow them see where they take us once we got up to the top of the mountain on the south side there was deer sign everywhere in those oaks they had the snow all pawed up and it was kind of confusing to figure out where the buck had gone we could see where the buck was feeding in the oaks along with all the does, see where his antlers were hitting the snow. And it took us a little bit to figure out where he left all that sign from that night. followed the buck track down off that side hill we didn't go over 150 yards and I caught embedded on top of a little rise Dude, it's a good one. Is it? Oh. Is it? It's about that wide. I'm pretty sure I got him. I mean, I had it right on him. As long as those branches didn't deflect. Right on. That's this buck. Yeah. Let's hope we got him. He, I watched him run for a ways. Well. We may have just got it done, I don't know. Like trying to hold it as long as I can. I'm seeing you going. I'm just hoping I pretty sure I got him in frame. Even with all the smoke, I knew the deer had ran to the left. I saw him run through a small opening. We got down there, found hair in the bed and his first bounding tracks, there was hair and just very small specks of blood. 
In my experience with a muzzle loader, though, I have deer bleed very little, even with good snow on the ground. Saga continues. Definitely got him hit. And I just slipped up on top of this knob and I just saw him down the hill, down through the hardwoods. It was quite a shot. It's probably 140, 150 yards, but I just shot again. We'll go down and see if we did any good. We're gonna catch him. Got good snow on the ground, we got plenty of daylight. It's a good buck. So let's, uh, let's slip down there and see if we can get him. For all of you hunters that have tracked deer, western Massachusetts, Vermont, New Hampshire, or up in Maine, you know the woods is usually thick where these big bucks live, and getting a shot is pretty challenging on the ground. Once you get them hit once, you're following them on the snow. You keep shooting until that deer's down. And that's exactly what we were doing. Good, good one, congrats, buddy. He's a good one. He's a good eight. Dude, he's bigger than you think. He's wide. That's, I caught him bedded. I caught him bedded up there, and I'm like, oh, man, he's right there, and I just got... I'm not going to touch... Dude, he's better than you think. He's an 11. Look at that kicker off of his brow. What a buck. Dude, that's a beauty. Ah. Oh. Day after Christmas, we're in uh, Massachusetts. I've been hunting this state pretty hard this year. Uh, had a lot of highs and lows, man. I've had some opportunities at some great bucks in this state. And uh, there's nothing like tracking them on the snow. Uh, saw some good deer, got some great deer on my cameras. And uh, real windy today. We got a fresh six, eight inches of snow. And I uh, called up Johnny on Christmas Day. I was like, hey, you want to go tracking tomorrow? It's going to be a pretty good day. Even though we got this crust underneath it, it's going to be windy. We can get away with quite a bit, you know? And uh, we, we were on to some deer today. I uh, saw deer when we parked the truck and got up got up on that mountain about a mile and a half or so. There's a little notch in the hill up there full of oak. Man, the deer got that all torn apart. We couldn't make anything work out there. Couldn't really find a track that I thought was a big buck. We got slabbing down off the hill and uh, got onto a side hill of spruce, got kind of out of the wind, and got a track that kind of broke off, and I was like, man, that's fresh. That's definitely this morning, and looks like it's walking like a buck. It's got a good stagger to it. Didn't follow it 150, 200 yards down off the hill, and there was a little rock outcropping. I could see the deer bedded on it, and uh, it took me a little while to figure it out through the hemlocks, then I could see antlers, and uh, I tried to make a shot on him in the, when he was bedded and hit him a little low, broke, broke the front leg and went into the brisket and he was messed up and uh, we stayed on him with the snow. He came up over that one rise and it's all beech whips and oak brush down through on that side and I could see him at about 120 yards and I shot again. I think I hit him that time. There was hair everywhere and that, the blood started again and we finally got down into this bottom here by this brook and I caught him bedded and finished him off. Man. And he's a beautiful 11, 10 with a kicker off of his base. Pretty awesome deer. I mean, my season is made, man. We had we had a great year. We started off, I, I went to Alaska caribou hunting and then went to Montana. We killed two big public land bulls. I mean, we've just had a great season. Uh, and to kill a public land Massachusetts buck like this is just icing on the cake. Uh, it's my late Christmas present, I would say. But I'm glad you could come today, Johnny. Cool. Glad I could be here. Man, what a buck. Man, I'm psyched. That's a hell of a buck.